Morning everyone, back with my paper experiments. Oh gosh, I should have opened these last night. I'm hoping they won't have stuck. Um, how lovely to spend a bit of time on the floor in my pyjamas. Um, 
messing with I'm go, I'm gonna call these my colour sheets, my colour colour prompts, my colour prompts. Because I need to see things visually, it's no good for me having uh, I've got sketchbooks where I've mixed colours and made notes. I never I never seem to refer to them because they like everything unless it's really kind of in my eye line as a visual, as a large visual, I tend to just overlook. I thought it would be good maybe each week to take two colours and black and white and build up a sheet. Um, so we had burnt umber, this was burnt umber and a medium red with black and white. And I and play, and I just played about on the floor. I mean, it got really, I couldn't resist sticking my hands in that paint. So that's okay, you can, I think you can just have, have some fun, but see what kind of a mix those colors can produce. So this will be a good aid for me. I also, I started with the greens, a dark green, permanent yellow and again black and white so that was my experiment the same thing on the floor hands and um, it started off thinking tonally what could I achieve with different quantities of the green and the yellow white and then black I enjoyed that immensely so what I think I'll do here on in is build up a collection of these prompts these sheets it's so easy to become a creature of habit and keep going to the same colour palette. I've obviously a real thing for green and yellow. <laughs> um, and I need, I think it, it's healthy to break out. And I'll put them on a clip. I might actually punch a hole and put them on a ring. That was my beach piece. That is the biggest fun I've had in the longest time. A sense of um, my daughter Lauren was was helping with the filming, and a feeling of um, with Crave on the beach. A joy, it was a it was like a piece of performance art. I loved that everybody had a go at throwing something at it. Um, so just the act of messing and experimenting. Um, magnified by more people was just lo I loved it I absolutely loved it and I couldn't actually bring myself to do any more to that because that is one big memory for me now to treasure these sheets are Canson 180 180 gram and it stood up pretty well in the paper shop, they didn't have a thicker weight. I wanted watercolour paper, was the idea in my mind. But he had some very, very thin, delicate watercolour paper that I just thought, well, that will just disintegrate before my eyes. So the weather's definitely cheered up in the UK. So um, I'll experiment um, with water and paper in the garden. What else, what else, what else to share? Book In my buddy, I dropped in. The idea was to do, in order to keep me, I, want to, I don't want to say tight, but in order to keep me in the realms of being true to size, it helps if I draw around a shell and then I don't get too carried away, akin to being true size. So that's really quite a nice little exercise. And then I wanted to go from that to something taking the size up. So I did that. And yeah, I had another go at some water, at some sea, and um, experimenting with the sunshades down on the beach the umbrellas i came up with a few pages in buddy that was a very poor looking lobster and um yeah i just played 
with that same, they are, a basic ground. In Spain, they have monk parakeets, the green birds are called monk parakeets, and they were introduced to that southern area in Spain in the 70s. Pet shops bought them from Argentina, and a few escaped, and they are now <laughs> yet another, like my, like my mistletoe, the, the monk parakeets are invaders as well. They have multiplied and they are seen as a problem. We tried to film and, um, and I tried to draw, hopeless. Um, they just don't have what the crow has. <laughs> so I had another, I've had another go at another crow. So, somebody did ask me before, when I've done exhibitions to film it, it's impossible because there's so much to do. The last thing on your mind is, oh, I must set the camera up and try and film this because there's a degree of anxiety as well as excitement, as well as, oh, for that things, have you got the right things? Um, yeah, you know, you're backwards and forwards moving to get it as good as you can. And just the last thing on your mind is setting up a camera and filming all that stress so but once it's all set up on film it will be interesting to report back to you on southeast open studios as the days tick by so i hope you've enjoyed this week i hope you're inspired to dash to the beach <laughs> not even to the beach not even on a large sheet maybe on a small sheet of paper take some loose sheets of paper and just just mess to have a play for for some unexpected results don't have a plan don't have a plan just have a play no plan just play um have a great week everyone thank you for watching have a, have a great week and i will see you next time thanks for watching bye for now Thank you.